My background in law enforcement and hostage negotiations teams uh, started, in essence, in 1988. Became a hostage negotiator in 1997, got promoted to sergeant, became a team leader in 2001. 2004, I got promoted to lieutenant and became a team commander, and that's a position that I held up until the time that I retired in 2017. At the end of the day, people in the business world are compliance professionals. They're selling a good or they're selling a service and they're trying to get people to buy, i.e. comply. As a hostage negotiator, I was the ultimate compliance professional because I sold jail time and I got people to buy it all of the time. Let's face it, there's a plethora of books out there that espouse the virtues of emotional intelligence and leadership and how important emotional intelligence is to leadership but there are very few books that show you how to do it. When, it. when they tell you, we need you to be more empathetic. Okay, that's great, how do I do it? And I thought that there was a void that needed filling and that's what prompted ego, authority, and failure. I'm talking to everyday bosses. These are not rock star CEOs or three star generals that I'm talking to or NCAA basketball coaches that I'm talking to. These are everyday run in the mill leaders who are challenged with the same things across the board. And the purpose for the writing it was to provide them with the tools to make them better, to change the way they think about communicating one person to another. Reading Ego, Authority, and Failure, how is that gonna change you as a leader? First and foremost, it's not, if you don't execute. Ego, Authority, and Failure provides the reader with cautionary tales, what makes the good ones good, what makes the bad ones bad, but where it diverges from the rest of the literature that's out there now is you get specific skills that you can practice, practice and apply and apply and become better and better and better and make a market change in the way you're viewed in the workplace, not only by your employees but also by, by colleagues, also by your superiors if you have them.